It's really sad how people spin things to make them seem racist these days. South Africa, we are bigger and better than that and we need to act like it. Welcome to Citizen Concerned, where we remind you to beware of the comrades. I'm Katleho and would appreciate it if you subscribed to our YouTube channel, liked and shared this video with other citizens. You know, the EFF and the MK party want to work together as progressives. <laughs> hey, birds of the feather flock together. Oops, I promise I am not saying black people are birds. I mean, how could I do that? <laughs> you know, without racializing everything, some parties will have no reason to exist. They won't be able to debate policy. They won't be able to survive based on reasoning. Parties like the EFF and MK would be fish out of the water. Yo, I did it again. I've just called my own black people fish. Yikes, I'm a self-hating black person. How could I call black people fish? <laughs> that is the reasoning capacity of some people living right here in South Africa. Imagine being so desperate that you want anything that comes out of a white person's mouth to be racist. We as a country are starting to become dumb now and it's not cute. Instead of intelligent political debates about what works and what doesn't, we are stuck in a cycle of shouting racist, racist. These are the dumbest debates that could be happening among citizens. We are debating whether an idiom should be used or not. So people should stop using figures of speech, huh? Why? Because black people might think we are calling them things. Come on, man. Here's the tweet. This is the deputy president or leader of the EFF reposting this portion of Helen Ziller's speech. So we aren't, um, I'll be quite honest, I mean, we could threaten to bring KwaZulu-Natal down if they don't agree to the document's terms in Gauteng, but we're not going to do that. We're not irresponsible people. We don't want to hand KwaZulu-Natal to MK and the EFF. It would be a total disaster for that province. So we're not about to do that. There are other levers that, we, that we're going to use. Obviously, there are. But we're not going to say the people of KwaZulu-Natal can be thrown to the dogs. Not at all. Do you see what the EFF loves to do? They are either dumb or they are evil. If they are dumb, it means they've graduated with all these degrees and doctorates, but still fail to understand idioms. They fail to understand the tools and figures of speech. Are these the results of the 30% pass mark? But I can't believe that. I get it, he graduated from a school in London. Anyway, let's read some of the responses to his tweet. This one reads, But deputy, you just graduated in London recently. How can you miss a figure of speech? My question too, man. Another says, They say you're educated and you have graduated multiple times, but this tweet disagrees with that. Seems like it didn't go well. That is, at the university. You don't understand an idiom, but you want to be finance minister for the country. Ebanna. <laughs> Another one says, Shem, your bruised ego making you guys sensitive. Libo makalanjalo now. Meaning you guys are constantly crying now. Calling the EFF and MK dogs is an insult to dogs. And he puts the definition or the meaning of to be thrown to the dogs, which is to allow someone to be criticized or attacked, often in order to protect yourself from being criticized or attacked. Another comment says, Come on, it's a figure of speech. She didn't mean it literally. Don't twist her statement. Open your dictionary and look up the expression thrown to the dogs. Come on, don't stoop so low. Another says, a bought and paid for degree. No study needed. This proves that. Referring to uh, Floyd's new academic achievement. Another says, so y'all didn't learn idioms at school. <laughs> And the last one we're going to read says, with all these qualifications you brag of, you don't understand idioms. 30% pass rate really messed with most of you guys. Shameful. 
Yeah, and those are some of the comments that uh, people uh, made or responses to Floyd's tweet. You know what's funny? What Helen Zilla said here is not too different from what Julius Malema said. And he didn't use an idiom or figure of speech. This is what he said. Fighters, this country is in the hands of the talks. And these talks must be beaten until the owner comes out. Because these people are not the real owners of our country. We need to remove this guy. But Tabo Beg is not an alternative neither. Jacob Zuma is not an alternative neither. The EFF is the alternative to the problems that confront the people of South Africa. The ANC must die and must die a painful death. Doesn't that last part mean that he wants to kill the ANC members? I mean, since we're taking everything literally and all, you know. The ANC must die and must die a painful death. If the EFF is not too dumb to understand that Helen Zilla was using an idiom, then they are evil, always trying to use racial division to advance their political goals. They do not care about the consequences. They'd rather keep going as long as white people are never accepted by the majority of South Africans. That is great to them. And that is a dark and dirty mind. You know that people don't like your open border policies. You know that people consider you guys to be corrupt. You know that people don't like your communist policies. So what do you do? You use race to divide and try to conquer. <laughs> what a shame. Our people need help. Education needs to be ramped up so that people can begin to be better thinkers. We need our people to become smart about the things being posted and debated. We as South Africans are still debating the lowest of ideas. We are debating primitive ideas while other countries are thinking about blockchain technology, AI robotics and the like. Over here it's racist this and racist that. Oh, colonialism, slavery, white monopoly capital. Why? Because our people have been let down and they don't know the effects of that. They don't realize that everything they are trying to negatively associate with white people was in the hands of the ANC to fix for them, to fix for everyone. The ANC could have made sure that our minds were capable of critical thinking, but because the education has been dumbed down, we can't even realize when we are being used to fight primitive battles to win spoils that we will never own, spoils that will never be ours. I mean, many people can't even tell that they are being used. Day in and day out, the EFF is searching through the internet to find something they can call racist, that they can use to make you believe that these white people, they got to go. Wake up to these basic ideas. Wake up and realize that you're being used. There are bigger problems in the world, bigger achievements to aim towards, and the leaders you keep choosing and supporting will never lead us there. We need to focus on the big picture, South Africa. What I actually find interesting is that Helen Zilla used the idiom throw KZN to the dogs. The right idiom to use was to throw KZN to the wolves, not to the dogs. But still, it doesn't even matter because now it's all about race. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and share this video far and wide. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already. Support the work we do by joining the channel membership, pressing the join button below or making a donation to the account details in the description box below. I'm Katlaro, this is Citizen Concerned and until next time, beware of the comrades.